Um, my last top sports moment it hasn't even happened yet, but I literally was screaming whenever this was announced. Um, and it's again, last year I had a top sports moment that was like pop culture and sports crossover. So I had to have another one. And it was the announcement of Rihanna at the Super Bowl, who she'll be the halftime performance. I cannot fucking wait for this. Like she could go on stage and like not even do anything. And I'd be like, my life is made. I don't even care. But Whenever she posted that photo of her hand, I knew immediately it was her hand, um, holding the football with, like, the white background, I was not well. Rihanna's one of my favorite, like, pop artists of all time. She, first of all, hasn't, she did recently release music because she has a song in the new Black Panther um, movie, which that movie was amazing. Um, but anyway, before that, she hasn't released music in years. And people have said, like, where's your music? Where's your music? And again, she really doesn't have to because she has Fenty beauty and skin and, um, like, just her Fenty line as a whole. So she's, like, uh, I think she's a billionaire at this point or multi-millionaire. Oh. Like, yeah. Nice. She has Fenty beauty and skin is the top beauty um, brand in the entire U.S. So, <laughs> um, maybe even the world. But she doesn't really need to release music anymore is what a lot of people's argument is. Um, but I'm hoping at the Super Bowl, like, she maybe, like, before or after, she'll be like, listen to my new album. I don't know. Um, because she did post recently, like, in the studio. So, like, something has to be going on. Um, but regardless, I can't wait. I'm hoping to see like some umbrella on stage. I need to see some rain. I need to see some Rihanna iconic dance moves. Like I haven't been this excited for a halftime show in years. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm going to move my light. It's dark in here. Okay. Just pull that thought. <laughs> This probably looks so stupid in here. Do you have an overhead light or no? No. No overhead lights in the top floor of this house. Really? Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um. So for me, the halftime shows don't pertain to me at all. <laughs> Ever. Mostly. Um, the two I remember the most are probably Katy Perry and Bruno Mars. Katy Perry was iconic. Left shark. <laughs> exactly. Um, this just isn't the type of music I listen to. I don't know why. Where's Kelly Clarkson? Where's Zac Efron? I'm just kidding. Um, where's Troy Bolton? <laughs> where's Troy Bolton? High School Musical. No, I agree. Kelly Clarkson deserves to be the halftime show. 100%. I would piss myself and barf and vomit <laughs> those are the same things um i feel like it might it could happen in the next 10 years i agree if it doesn't it'll be a travesty to this country um but rihanna is obviously a very well-deserving pick i don't listen to her music so i didn't scream or anything um but i'm excited that she's getting um her moment that she very much deserves um that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I'm excited to see the halftime show. Um, I always have a very open mind going in, so I'm ready to be entertained. Yeah, me too. And I also, I feel like in recent years, like, it's become, like, a collaboration or, like, this surprise yeah. artist comes out, this surprise artist comes out, which is, like, cool and all. And, like, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's just disappointing. And I'm excited that it's Rihanna because I think she could – stand on her own and do it herself like she reminds me of like a Beyonce or Lady Gaga or Katy Perry even though 
I think it was Beyonce and Coldplay, which was so random. It was. Um, but again, I think that she's one of those artists that could hold her own um, and be super entertaining. And she's someone that, like, I don't know. I just think that she's not so much in the spotlight anymore and not so much in the spotlight as it relates to music. So I think that's why it was even more of like a holy shit moment because Mm -hmm. I don't remember the last time she's performed like and been on stage. It's been like years, like since she released her last album. The last super female Super Bowl performer to go lot go solo was Lady Gaga. And that was would have been six years ago when Rihanna goes live. But I hope, like Lady Gaga, Rihanna does something. I because Lady Gaga jumped from the roof and then she released yeah. her tour tickets. Um, so hopefully Rihanna is able to do something in terms of marketing and her sales in that capacity. Because that's what I would do if I was performing at the Super Bowl. I'm oh, yeah, using it to sure. my full advantage. But again, I also think that I don't know. I'm just interested to see how it shakes out because Rihanna doesn't have to do that. Because she's not just a musical artist. Right. Whereas, like, know. Lady Gaga relies heavily on that revenue. I mean, she's become, like, an, more of an actress now, too. Um, but, like, I don't know. I just think it'll be a fun show. And I hope that they, like, shine the spotlight properly. And it's not like, oh, we're bringing out this person, this person. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't like when they do that. No. And, like, last year's halftime show was cool because it was, like, um, what's it called? Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige. Like, that's all good and fun, but, like, each of them maybe had, like, 30 seconds, like, a minute each total. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't really get to highlight the whole artist. Um, and I always look forward to the halftime show, um, especially if the game is boring, um, which has happened sometimes, then I'm like, okay, halftime show, we need to jazz it up. And also if the commercials suck, which we've talked about in recent years, haven't which been they yet. do. Yeah. So I'm hoping for a good halftime show and like, not even hoping, I know it will be a good halftime show. I know she'll live up to the hype. So that was one of my like top moments because I love, I live for a pop culture sports crossover and I can't wait to see what comes of it. Rihanna's not going to let us down. It's not going to be a bad half. There's no way. By any. No shot. It's going to be good. You heard it here first. Yeah. Um, and I just like no envisioning. Way. Do you remember? Again, this is like when we were in middle school probably. But when the her first song, Umbrella, came out with Jay-Z. <laughs> and the music Umbrella. video is like them in the water. And it's raining. And she has an umbrella. And there's like choreography. Like that's what I envision for the halftime show. Like, it's <laughs> There's just, these like, umbrellas. <laughs> yeah. Like it's going to be top notch. I just know it. 